Resistance to antibiotics is a global public health issue. But in countries with limited resources, where health systems are failing, where sanitation is poor, and where there are no regulations on the prescribing of antibiotics, it takes on alarming proportions. In economically developed countries, to find out which bacterium is responsible for an infection and the antibiotics required to treat it, all it takes is a few tests in a laboratory. These tests are available in countries capable of guaranteeing a reliable supply of water and electricity, a controlled temperature and no dust or humidity. They also have the skilled personnel and the equipment and products needed to implement the tests. Also many constraints in short supply or difficult to access in many of the countries where MSF operates. Without the means to accurately diagnose infections and no drug prescription regulations, for many years doctors have been extensively prescribing broad-spectrum antibiotics effective against several bacteria at the same time. This has created antibiotic resistance, which makes it extremely hard to treat diseases such as meningitis, dysentery, pneumonia, and generalized blood infections. In response, MSF is currently developing a portable laboratory that will have all the features of a regular laboratory but can be adapted to conditions in the settings where it works. It will have to comply with certain specifications. It must be tropicalized, meaning resistant to heat and moisture. Simple to use, so it can be operated by staff with just a few days training. Hard wearing, compact, cheap and easy to transport. The laboratory will enable better diagnosis and documenting of antibiotic resistances. It will be used primarily for newborns and children, particularly those with malnutrition or who are HIV positive, and war casualties. Set up in cooperation with public institutions and private partners, the Minilab project is expected to last several years. The first phase requires selecting the best suited innovations and testing them in the field and then making a prototype of the portable laboratory that will be used to run them.